quick look at some data which were recorded at Pannonia and I wanted to show how active the suspension can actually get. Now there's a corner at Pannonia come out of a slow right-hander, immediately again it turns right, left in a dip and over a rise and there's a quite a pronounced bumpy lumpy section of the track. <laughs> This is the standard rear suspension travel on the BMW, this yellow line here, this yellow data trace. Scale down the side here, it's zero there down to 50. This is essentially at what scale I'm using, is roughly 50 millimeters of travel in the suspension. Um, if it's quite close to zero, that means the suspension's pretty much topped out, it means it's fully extended. And if you get in a depression or into a dip, it will squash the suspension down. And as you can see here, for instance, uh, we're close to 42 millimetres, 42, 43 millimetres. So that means the suspension is, is sort of well past three quarters of its stroke. But you can see quite clearly here how this sort of small motion here is fairly normal. You, the, the, the wheel doesn't travel in a completely flat line and then you see a little bit of a bump, and then you see all these close lines together. And so this is a very active part of, of the track. So you can actually detect whether the bike tops out, whether you're running into a bottoming issue, uh, what the bike feels like in these scenarios. May differ to what's actually on the screen. So this is the typical information that you can use.